Today I'm going to be doing another TCA peel. This is a record for me. I don't usually do TCA peels this regularly, but I have this like window of opportunity before I have some upcoming appointments and important things I need to be at. And I figured I need to do this today. I should have done it yesterday, but we're gonna do this. And this time I'm going to be doing a TCA peel from the brand Platinum Skincare. Thank you so much to those who recommended it. I've heard such great things about this company and the peels. And if you watched my last TCA peel video, if you didn't, I'll link to it below. But if you did, you may have noticed that it was like a never ending peel layer after layer after layer. And it was, it was interesting. It was surprising and it was painful and it was very long lasting. And I just have a feeling that the company I was using and those peel, that peel I used just wasn't as strong as I thought it might be. So I have a feeling this 20% that I'm going to do is going to be a lot stronger and I'm hoping for that. And before I get into everything, little disclaimer, please understand, most of you guys watching already know this, but TCA peels are not for the faint of heart. They are dangerous and they are very, very strong. You can cause problems. You can cause other skin issues, especially if you don't take care of your skin afterwards. I don't mean that you don't take care of it, but you basically, if you just get any sunlight on your face at all, you're very likely to have hyperpigmentation and your skin might be worse off than before you did the peel. If you're not really, really careful with sun exposure and SPF use after and during the peel even. But besides that, obviously, you know, whatever you do is at your own risk. I just want to share my experience with you guys and I don't normally do a lot of TCA peels but I really did want to try this one because I didn't really have the results I was hoping for with my last peel. And so I am here to take you through the process with me and to show you my experience with the Platinum Skin Care's 20% TCA peel. To get right into it, first I'm going to clean my face with this alcohol here and this is a high percentage alcohol and uh, it's not fun putting that on your face. But it's important to do this step to get any grease off of your skin and so that you can, will have uh, an even peel. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put any of the peel on my neck, but I am cleaning it just in case. Here's the 20% TCA. And it also came with this little cup to pour it in so you don't waste any of it. And it also came with this so I could carefully drop a certain amount into the little cup, which I really appreciate. And it also came with a gauze pad. So that's awesome because I took one out of my first aid kit not knowing that it came with all these, with everything basically. So it's really great. And we're gonna get into the application process I'm not feeling a lot of the fear that I usually feel, though I probably should be. Um, we'll just, we'll see what happens. I have a feeling that I'm going to frost right away, but I have no idea because I was totally, completely, fully, 100% wrong with the last TCA video that I did, so we'll see. I'm just moving uh, my mirror here and we are going to get into the application process. So I'm taking the gauze and I'm getting the product on there and I'm also squeezing it out. I don't want it, you know, saturated too. I want it saturated but not spilling out of anything. Okay, here we go. My goodness. Okay, yeah, this is happening. I'm, I'm trying to not freak out. Like, I freaked out last time. This is insane. I'm getting frosting for the first time ever. <laughs> it's making me laugh. I am so losing it right now. It is hurting, guys. It is hurting. I must pronounce my T's. It really is hurting. You really don't need a lot of this product for results. And once again, like I, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it is pretty cold in here at 46 degrees right now. So that's what is helping me through this situation. As you can see, I really hope you can see there, my forehead 
has frosted to an extent. Interesting that it's just the forehead though. Maybe it's because I just had more product on the gauze pad and then less once I was getting down lower. Okay, I'm gonna do something. I wanna get my hair out of the way, which is something I should have done before. I'm actually feeling okay with the pain because it feels like it's self-neutralizing. But I'm still gonna wait a little bit. I need to wait at least a few minutes before doing anything else. This is a first though. I have never had frosting. I've had very mild, very minuscule type of frosting. And that was years ago when I did this, so. Okay guys, so we're about to do this. This is so weird to me. I've never had frosting. And like I said, have an appointment or two and some important appointments coming up. So hope my face isn't all disgusting at that time. I'm not feeling the pain right now. I will be feeling it, I'm sure, once I do this, this layer. I feel like, like I said, maybe this just wasn't saturated enough when I got down to the rest of my face because my forehead is fro has frosted and nothing else has. So let's keep going. I'm gonna bring my mirror closer for safety reasons so I can see what I'm doing. It really hurts. It really, really hurts. <sighs> Insane pain and then it kind of settles down, but not. This one isn't. Crap, like I don't wanna push it, but I can see that there's certain areas that have no frosting when the other areas have it. I do not want to go over any area that has frosting. And some of it is still processing. I can feel it. Oh, I can feel it all right. So basically I just missed like the tiniest area and I just want to do that area and be done. So the process of day one is almost over and I, it's hard to see, but I feel like, let me see. I barely used half, so that's awesome. I can use this again. Okay, so here's the deal with my frosting, in my opinion. The frosting on my forehead is already like much more mild and subsided, so that's interesting. This is what I'm, honestly, I know this is what I'm going for. I think I'm gonna get the results that I want with this level of frosting. I have seen frosting that is thicker, that is more opaque, and that stays there for quite a while after the process has already happened, after you've done your peel, and then the skin really gets very dark and really brown and really crusty and very thick, and it peels off like that, and that's fine. I just want something a step down from that than that level of strength for the peel. I'll start the neutralizing process in here and then I'll see you again tomorrow because I'm gonna probably have to finish this inside to really make sure that my skin is properly cleaned off and neutralized. So I have a baking soda and water solution in here for my neutralizing stuff. So I'm just patting it on and I will, oh, it really hurts. I'll do a better job once I'm inside. So obviously you really wanna make sure all of this is off my skin. So thank you guys so much for coming along with this process. This has always been, this has been very interesting for me to do this and share this with you guys. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so this is the afternoon of day three. I'm looking pretty terrible and that's okay because there's a lot of peeling going on and this is what it looks like. It always starts around the mouth area and I mean, I 
would love to be able to just pull all of this off, but you absolutely cannot do that at all. Do not pull off the tiniest bit at all if you ever happen to do a peel like this. Just don't ever do that. You can cause scarring and extreme soreness that will just never go away. It hurts so much because I did that once long, long, long ago. But anyway, it seems like things are happening rather quickly with this peel and this pretty significant peeling for me. It's pretty gross. Uh, hopefully a lot of it will be done today. I just want to be really careful and take it easy and be gentle. I've been putting some hyaluronic acid mixed with my avocado oil, which has always been my skin's favorite. It's very soothing. And I've been slathering that on my face on and off, especially when it's becomes a bit sore which it it's still sore even on day three and uh so the other thing is i've been spraying it with my water bottle that i have just with some water and that's also kind of soothing and so basically this is what it looks like today right now i think i'm going to go through a lot of peeling today and tomorrow and then maybe it'll mostly be done so i'm pretty amazed at how fast this is happening like I said, it feels very uncomfortable. Sometimes it gets itchy. It doesn't, it doesn't look very good. There's like skin falling off everywhere. It's a pretty gross process, but hopefully it'll be worth it. I will keep you guys posted. Thank you so much for following along. Hey everybody, so today is day eight after doing my Platinum Skin Care 20% peel. I wanna get right into things. I first wanna show you a close up of how my skin is currently looking and uh, just so you can you know, get a feel for the results as of today. And I'll just let you guys know, my skin feels softer than it's probably ever felt before. It doesn't feel irritated, it doesn't feel dry. I kind of expected it to feel a little bit dry after going through such changes and such peeling. I thought it would like continue peeling with little flakes or something because my skin is usually dry, but it's the complete opposite right now and it's feeling so amazing and so moisturized and plump. I did notice something a couple of days ago. I was looking at a close-up mirror. I think I was plucking my eyebrows or something and I noticed that the uh, fine lines that I usually have around my eyes here weren't visible at all and I was really really surprised and I kept looking for them and I couldn't find them and sometimes still today like when I look in a mirror sometimes I think I see them sometimes I'm not sure I honestly don't know but the thing is I'll try to get some good side-by-side -side photos and put them on my website with a real final update on a separate post and uh, just to try to see there might be no changes but personally it seems like at the very least, it seems like it actually lessened the appearance of those fine lines and I'm really surprised and I really didn't expect it because this is just one peel and I don't expect miracles from any of this stuff. I figure it takes, you know, multiple peels to actually see good results or multiple different procedures, but it seems like something has already happened and I'm, I'm pretty amazed actually. So that's one thing I wanted to mention. I wanted to mention one thing about my last TCA peel video for those of you who've seen it. If you haven't, I'll link to it below, but it was where I was doing a 24% TCA peel by Makeup Artist Choice. I just want to clarify something because I think at the end of the video, I may have said optimistically that the peel may have been worth it. I completely take that back because I don't feel like I had anything good to compare it with. Uh, I've always known very clearly the type of TCA peel depth that I want and I was never able to achieve it with that brand's TCA peels. Between 2014 and 2019, I did three peels by that company and I've always experienced a tremendous amount of pain with their peels and a tremendous lack of results. And so it kind of made me dislike TCA peels. I don't know why I didn't just realize that, hey, maybe there's something not as effective with their peels, but I realized it now after doing this skincare, this platinum skincare one, that there's a major difference and this platinum skincare 20% was exactly what I was going for. So I'm really glad that I got it. 
As far as makeup artist choice and their other peels, their other peels have really, really helped my skin between 2014 and 2019. And I do have a post on my website showing before and after photos, you know, with my under eye area, just doing other types of peels regularly really, really helped with lines around my eyes. I definitely don't ever want to use their TCA peels again though. And if comparing pain levels, I felt less pain with the Platinum Skincare Peel. And I think some people mentioned, somebody mentioned that they might put some type of menthol product in it. And if that's true, it really does help. And it doesn't help massively, but just helping the pain a little bit makes a huge difference. So as far as that goes, the pain seemed a little bit less severe and just more tolerable. And it lessened or it self-neutralized in a nice way fairly quickly. And that was awesome. Anyway, I'm just, I'm really, really happy so far with the results from this peel. If you guys have any questions, comments, or video ideas, please let me know. And like, I'd be happy to help if you have any questions at all. So other than that, um, I hope you guys had a great new year and I hope 2020 is awesome.